would now like to invite Guru Sheila Unnikrishnan to the stage. Srimati Sheila Unnikrishnan is the founder director of Sri Devi Nrityalaya, which specializes in Melattur style of Bharatanatyam and has completed 32 years of its artistic journey. Uh, I think the only answer to that is by practice. By practice we can uh, try and develop anything. Nothing is impossible when it comes to practice. That's it. <laughs> Hello, that was a wonderful performance. Thank you. I was curious to understand if you adopt any other training or how do you practice as much as you do? Do you do like stretching or do you do sort of, what's the discipline that you kind of adopt to be able to, to do a performance like today? Um, we usually do a set of warm-up exercises which is suitable for Bharatanatyam. Uh, I wouldn't say it is more of yoga, but rather it is to do with, you know, jumps and of course we do a lot of stretches too. But it is adopted in such a way that it is suitable for a dancer. Time for one more, one more question. Um, in the last performance, was there some semblance of Kathak? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, Kathak, usually they do that question-answer pattern where the tabla player plays uh, a rhythm and the dancer answers to it spontaneously. But Shuddhan Ritam is a unique aspect of our Bani, which is Mele Tour Bani, which was founded by Mangudi Dare Raja here. And this follows the same pattern where the Mridangist plays a set of beats to which the dancer responds with the footwork. It was amazing. Thank you. Actually, uh, Mangudi Dore Raja here is a Mirdangam expon exponent. So, he trained his disciple Kanchana Gauri, who, who, who were the, his prime dis disciple at that time. And then they used to do Tilana um, combining with Shuddhan Ritam, and then they do, do it on the mud pot also, inverted mud pot. Um, we haven't done it today. This is purely Shuddhan Ritam. And um, here, in the Nati Shastra, we have all the paths and paths. We have to use this. 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 Because of the footwork patterns, we adopted. Uh, really, on behalf of every audience here, and I would like to salute the dedication that you have shown, both the artist and the guru. But one question is, one question which I think our students here and our children, thanks to um, Sai Priyaji, she is trying to bring out the best in our kids. But the bhava and the laya, it is not fully complete until unless you understand the language. 
So I think our kids here, to a great extent, you know, they understand Tamil, but not the real meaning. Because your entire bhava was, it is, we felt as though we ourselves are with you, dancing, you know, seeking Krishna. In the stage of in the expression, you said that you are also in Krishna. So, in the level of the dance, we are going to do the dance performance. First, we are going to do the basics. அந்த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் யார் ஆடுறாங்களோ அவங்க பேசிக்ஸை ஃபுல்லாக மறந்து போகணும் லைக் அரை மண்டியில் உட்காடுறோமா நம்ம கை இப்படி மேலே இருக்கா கை ஸ்ட்ரெச் பண்ணியிருக்கோமா கிட்டக்க வச்சுருக்கோமா கண்ணை இப்படி இருக்கா அப்படி இருக்கா அந்த மாதிரி இருக்கிற தாட்ஸ் எல்லாம் வந்து அவங்களுக்கு தாண்டி போய் த ஹாவ் டு ஓ ஓவர் கம் தட் அந்த மாதிரி ஸ்டேஜில் டான்ஸ் இவங்களுக்கு வரும்போது ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்காக அந்த எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் இந்த குழந்தைங்களுக்கும் கொடுக்க முடியும் அதுக்கு என்னென்னா வீ நீட் டு ஸ்பெண்ட் டைம் ஆன் தட் டான்ஸ் ப்ராக்டிஸ்க்காக டைம் கொடுக்கணும் அவங்க நிறைய பண்ணிட்டு எல்லாத்துலேயும் ஆவரேஜாக இருக்கிறத விட செலக்டடாக சிலர் செலக்ட் பண்ணிட்டு அதில் எக்ஸல் பண்ணுறதுக்கு நம்ம அவங்களுக்கு பேரண்ட்ஸ் தான் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி கொடுக்கணும் Only if, get, if, if I feel it's very monotonous, then I'll change for that. <laughs> 